this is on a crimson horse the most recent monathon winner and one of my twitch subscribers happens to be developer and so i asked them if i could do an honest review on their mod but i did give them the warning that it's gonna be an honest review so even if i like you i'm gonna review your product but he was open to the idea so today we're gonna give an honest review of on a crimson horse and i'll leave a link to the mod in the description you guys should definitely check it out if you guys enjoy this type of content that's something new and trying let me know if mod reviews are something that you find entertaining and if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing with that said let's jump into it to my understanding i, only, I don't know a ton about it but it covers the timrid's early disasters and it's complete rework of that because apparently europa doesn't cover that well i don't know the history behind it so that's the uh, very basics that i understand so let's just jump into it let's just see how it is we'll give our honest feedback of course so I'm not going to sugarcoat things if I think they're bad. I'm just going to say it. That's just the kind of guy I am. So don't expect me to just say it's good because I, the person who subscribed to me on Twitch. I'm sorry if I'm rude. But hopefully I won't have to be. So we start with two forts, which, yeah, that's going to, that's gonna you know, lose some points for the mod. Definitely. Two forts. They're trying to take away my money before I even start the game. Uh, before I even unpause the game. Unplayable. I'm going to delete those straight away. So that guy's a leader, so we might as well just, like... I mean, we don't want him to die necessarily, but, like... He doesn't die. He, he doesn't die. So we've got some unique vassals. We don't really know what's going on. We, we, we can click this special mechanic and be overwhelmed with things that we can't mess with, I guess. So I don't know what the hell is going on here. But maybe it will it'll be like, it'll tell me that. So I'm just going to do normal states and kind of like we're playing a normal game at EU4. Mana privileges, seizing of land, you know, some other nice things probably going to do freedom of interpretation for the manpower. Oversight's fine. Just diplomats, increase levies, supremacy, patronage, free enterprise, and we have a fourth estate, which I never like. Well, I don't even like having three estates, let's be honest. But now we have a fourth one, we have to make them happy. Maybe we'll give them this thing. We have a lot of subjects that aren't subjects. Don't know what that means exactly, but I'm sure that I will figure that out momentarily. We must prepare our armies and resert or face the consequences. The cloud sort of seal will end our wars. Let's see this one. Replace them with. Okay, so don't do anything else because you're about to get fucked. I appreciate them telling me that in advance. What just happened? Oh my god, I have three events, four events at once. Okay, my Sultan something consort died. Okay, I don't know what this is, but I guess they gave me 10 prestige. Thanks, guys. Timurids gets some good stuff until my guy dies, but I'm pretty sure he dies like immediately. So I gotta pick between these three. Well, I don't know who we're mourning here. Because we, we have a successor, so who are we mourning exactly? I don't know. But they're going to give me a bunch of worse leaders. I don't want that. Oh, I get it. I'll just pick the son I already have because he's better. These guys suck. That seems like, you know, the answer. All right, so that's easy. I just picked the, uh, my favorite son. I'll just pick him. Nothing's happened yet. We're just chilling. Let's be friendly Ottomans, you know. They'll carry us through our crisis, surely. I need you to carry me through the crisis. I'll send an insult to Austria. And now we're friends. Okay? We're friends. So we got an alliance with the Ottomans. So one, he lives longer. The second one, he gives more power points. I guess I'll, I'll just take the power points. Oh, wait, you don't lose stability on the first one, actually. We got declared war with. Does that mean the Ottomans have to help me? <laughs> Lol. That's OP. They declared, declared offensive war against me. I just thought this was a little curious of a war, though, because even without me, it's like the the AI is kind of sacrificing itself to death here, right? Is it historically accurate that they, they lose all their land? They just get inherited for just declaring a absolutely unwinnable war? Okay, my leader died. No longer have the benefit of reputation, blah. So people are going to be mad now, but we inherited bulk. We have a disaster that's triggering eventually. We took a stability here. We can boost our set back to one. There's nothing to do with except our fate. I do love this flavor text here. I'm not sure what these do. I wish there's a little more text. Obviously, it's like, why would you just pick one to lose money? You know, I wish I knew a little more context, but obviously I'm just going to pick the one that gives me the best results. I feel like this event, the first one is so bad. Why would we want it? 10% power cost is so much. I feel like what I'm saying is almost feels like that's too harsh of a penalty to even have a decision. What, why is there a choice when the choice is basically just you have to accept the rebels or you lose 10% power cost? That's just like what it looks like to me. 10% just seems too, like, too much to overcome to be a choice. I like choices that are choices, if that makes sense. I could be wrong on that. That's just my perspective, right? The corpse arrives. Okay. So this is uh, what we get out of this one. We lose 200 ducats and uh, some prestige decay until the end of the game. So pretty useless, if you ask me. Prestige decay is not great in my experience, but hey, that's okay. 
I'd rather not pay the 200 ducats for that prestige decay, if I'm being honest. I always have 100 prestige at all times. So we're losing a lot of money, and that's not good. I don't know why we're losing so much money. Oh, is it because all our guys are disloyal? Well, only like one of them's really disloyal. Well, kind, kind of too. I should have real married people. I kind of forgot to do that. Probably should have real married people when they were happy, but only like one or two people are disloyal, so it's not a huge deal, I guess. Disasters trigger in a couple months. So this war is basically just free. Yeah, they're forced to integrate. I think this is too strong because I could AFK and sit in, I could ha I could have my maintenance turned off and I get all of AGM for free. Seems a little strong, but again, just gonna give you my opinion as we see it. Yeah, I think it, I still I feel like that this is like getting integrating these guys for free is really powerful. Being able to do so with literally no effort seems a little bit too powerful. But if it's historical, it's historical. I don't really know about all that, so not knowing the history, just get my impressions as a. Player who doesn't know anything about the Timurids in real life. Because that felt that, that just feels like too easy. And too much value gained for being too easy. I didn't even do anything in that war. But if it's a historical, then I will give points for that. I, I just, again, I don't know. So we got a disaster here. This is a succession crisis. Every subject gets released. All princes will go to war with each other. All governors will get the choice of supporting claims of one of their princes or joining the war themselves. Well, what my brain was saying is like, I'm going to try to seize land before they get released. So I'm glad that you can't do that. For people like me that I'm like, I'm just going to seize as much land as, as possible if they're going to get, if they're going to revolt anyways. So that's a dub that they made it so you can't do that. Because I, I was thinking like, okay, they're going to, they're going to defect. I'm going to take as much land as possible. Can't really take advantage of the situation, which is good. You know, being me, I'm going to try to take advantage of things naturally i'm like okay well this shit's gonna happen we're gonna try to make the best of a bad scenario and it seems like there's nothing i can really do so i'm now in five wars that's interesting it's interesting the ottomans joined three of the wars but not all five i like that it's saying like hey by the way idiot if you don't read it you're gonna be in trouble okay so the second term of crisis we're gonna read this bit this is gonna explain the mod i'm gonna, I'm gonna say it i feel like this should have been thrown in like almost the beginning because it's like telling me what's happening now I mean, it's been four years of not knowing what the hell is going on. So I'm trying to understand this. So there's the princes are like the states. The governors are local governor, which I don't really know what that means. I don't know what the difference between that is. And then interlopers seem to be like, like Switzerland, you know, <laughs> they just become involved with who's winning. Typically all princes and non-subject governors will be at war with each other. From a person who's never played this, this seems overwhelming to me with what's going on. There's just too much going on. I, it's, it's hard for me to follow what exactly is going on. The interlopers is well explained, but I don't really understand the difference between a governor and a prince. It does say they'll they'll be at war with each other, but I what is the difference between the two? I'm not sure. One's Timur dynasty and one's not Timur dynasty, if I'm understanding right. So interlopers are supposed to join the war to seize particular region. Pressing in the crisis involves subjugating your enemies. For this purpose, wars have two new peace offers. Subdue, claimant, and enforce loyalty, both of which will force the other country to become your emirate, which is like a subject, right? And join wars. No, this is sometimes buggy. These peace bills also do not incur any aggressive expansion. It is, after all, a civil war. So it says basically avoid using vassalization or you're going to get coalition. So basically use the peace option that they gave us. Next page. Okay. So I assume we'll be going after the restored Timur's legacy because we're the Timur. No, way, I'm Herat. What happened? I got demoted. This is all a little complex to me, if I'm being honest. But I'm just going to play it and it'll probably make sense as I'm playing it a little bit more than just reading it. That's probably just me as a person, though. I'm, like, understanding things more through experience than instructions. What I've gotten out of this is that there's a new peace deal that we should use to avoid AE. Again, I'm not going to judge based on how I interpret instructions. I guess I feel like there's too much information, and I don't actually know what's going on. I understand that I'm in, like, I'm in five wars. There's some CB that I can make them my subjects. I assume once I win all the wars or something, then I can, um enforce the timber legacy so my original impression if i'm just going to say things like immediately what i think you shouldn't allow me to have allies like the ottomans because it's going to make things 20 times easier to have the ottomans in three of our wars that's just a fact in my in my mind i shouldn't be allowed to have the ottomans it's going to make things way easier right for at least a lot of the wars i'm worried that it's going to be too easy because i have allied the ottomans and they're going to be helping me a lot that's my original impression if you guys would have just been like hey, we can't fix this, but don't get allies to make it more fun, that'd be cool. I would have I would have followed those instructions, right? Um, just, just like something that would that I would work for me. I'm not saying that would work for everybody, but it's like, hey, if you know, if you just if you tell me that as the player, like, hey, don't get allies. We don't have a way to fix it, but that but it will make your experience less challenging. 
just throw that in my face, and then I won't, you know, I won't get any allies type of thing, right? So we're in a bunch of wars at once, but it's interesting because they're all separate wars. It would, it would be like nine times harder if it was in the same war. It'd obviously be like super overwhelming, but because we're in so many different wars, we actually... It's like we have a, like a bunch of easy wars. It's really weird. We have a bunch of easy wars, but there's a lot of them. They're also at war with each other. Interesting. So everyone's at war with each other. We have interesting government institutions. Gain some money. We probably don't need money. Um, this one does manpower and... Wait. Wait a minute. I'm going to say I don't understand. Again, this, is, this goes down to the choices thing, right? When would I ever want to do this over this? This just seems 10 times better and you get more stuff and you lose legitimacy that you, that you don't care about. Whereas this one, you get unrest. That's my first impression, right? And that's just how I'm going to keep telling you things. First impression, like, I want the options between the three things to make sense. Me, I look at this and I'm like, why would I ever do that over that? Like, if you look at these two, you're like, wait a minute. I get manpower and more money and, and a less penalized? But why is this an option? And I'm, and I'm also somebody that's like a min-max player. So I'm like, immediately going to be like, what's the best option? So my original impression was, I don't know why, why I would ever take this. This just seems way better. And the third option we haven't looked at. So we lose war exhaustion, gain legitimacy. So I guess based on that, there is some sort of idea that legitimacy might be important. I don't know why it would be the case. I haven't really been indicated in one way or the other that I need legitimacy. So this doesn't seem great. This just seems like the obvious choice. It's way better. So I'm going to go with that one. And I, I will have to like, you know, dock some mental points for like the choices not being meaningful. I like meaningful choices that are like three really good things that you want equally. Like, I love choices like that in U4, where it's like, you have to pick between two things you really want, or two things that you really don't want, let's say. So it's a little chaotic, because we're at war with so many people, but I guess we're just going to handle it one war at a time. Unfortunately, we don't much manpower, so it makes things a little awkward. But we can get mill 4 straight away, which could be a problem, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, I'm, I'm worried about that. Basically, this, is, this disaster is happening at a time that most people are going to be mill 3, so I'm going to have an unreasonable advantage against a ton of people now because mill three to mill four is huge so i would be a little worried about the balance there because you can crush people if you're if you're mill four versus mill three so hopefully they catch up in mill relatively fast to, to make it difficult the ottomans are here so that's gonna be strong for me this looks really cool i like this whoever designed this ui i think you did a great job i don't even know how to use it yet it just looks fancy i'm like this looks cool i don't know exactly how it works but i'm intrigued it's nice because I'm at war with everybody, so I like I can just re-siege anything that gets sieged. That's like a blessing, right? It's like it's like how how Europa would meant to be played. I can steal all the land I want. Okay, so we're in like a bunch of different wars. Apparently, we're winning this war, which is the, mostly the Ottomans doing that for me. Okay, we got a, an event that says lose manpower. We already, we are at zero manpower, so it's not really gonna do much. I'll just oh, but it would give us some bad effects for five years. I like this event, by the way. This is this is an example of a good event. It's two things I don't want, but I'm not sure which one I want less, which I like. It makes me think about it. It's like, huh, this sucks, but this sucks too. It's unclear what the best answer is. I think Devastation and Rebels are just going to be a little less painful, but I don't really know if that's the right answer. This event is not as good for me because it's basically like 19 ducats is, ne is nothing, right? So it's like, it's not a choice. It's like, oh, it's, it's 19 ducats. If it was like... 60 dot you know if, if you put the price tag on this a little higher i think you're gonna get to that point where again i'm like i don't know right but for now it's kind of like oh 19 ducats so i'll take that that's obvious i'm getting murdered here that's not good don't get stack wipe oh wait i got reinforced by the ottomans i'm op i almost feel like i need to restart and not ally to the ottomans because i didn't realize how the mechanics worked and it seems too good like i was i was screwed there right that would have been bad for me i, I made mistakes and i should have paid for them but instead the ottomans failed me out I'm going to do something for me, and I'm going to restart and not ally to the Ottomans, because I want to experience this mod like feel like the way it's meant to be, and I don't think the, the, the developers were intending me to be allied to the Ottomans. Let's just start again. Knowing what I know now, would I change what my privileges are? I don't think so. Um, I'd probably focus mill since I know that it's going to be not very important that I do anything else. I'd be like, now, now that I've done it, I played it like a little bit, I'm like, I'm going to do mill, grab a discipline advisor, and we'll just do the other privileges as normal. So let's just try this again here. Seize land, some of the diet, sure thing. So let's go around. We're not going to have allies. So we're going to go with the same decision we took last time. Just, you know, that's what we chose. And it seems like it's scripted. Yeah, the, these rulers are scripted. So they're, they're going to be the same stats every time. It's fine to me. 
I don't think I got this event last time. I think this is a little confusing to me because I'm not sure who's inheriting. Is it me? Is it Balk? Is... I'm a little confused on this. It doesn't really make sense that I want someone else to inherit somebody that eventually will war with me. I would rather inherit somebody, I think. Okay, so he did die. They tell us that... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I'm not... I didn't inherit anything. I got screwed. Okay, I totally misunderstood the event. That's okay. That's that's on me. I'm an idiot. So I don't have an heir anymore, which is good, I guess. So it's telling us that we're going to get declared war soon. Okay, my leader died. So this is the one that gives me the plus 10 car cost at the end of the game. It's not... I don't know why I would ever want this. If we own the province in which this guy resides, we get screwed. I don't know why I would want to be screwed. Just take the, the other option. Oh, my heir is so bad. We gotta disinherit that guy. We, wait, oh no. He's already our guy, it's over. Bad news, we don't have a leader anymore. I guess we'll just take the legitimacy because why would we want to lose money? Somebody got demoted, what does that mean exactly? Someone went to steal the body? Okay, I don't know what that means exactly, but... Okay, so we're getting a disaster, we're losing money. Our, our people are disloyal. It's just the normal stuff, you know? Okay, we got ward with. So basically, my guy's already dead. But yeah, if I'm not if I don't win this war in time, which I won't, because I'm already it's already happening in like three months, then it's gonna change to something else. So we'll see what that is. I have no idea what that means. It's gonna change to something worse. Pain. We're about to experience pain. Unless we can win the war in like one month, which I don't think it's gonna happen. I'm gonna soul here, maybe it does. Maybe we win the war in one month. You never know. We're not winning the war in one month. Oh great. Negative three stability. Oh my god. This is not okay, it forced us to peace out. And we got warred with like 17 times. So everyone's declaring war on everyone, I think. Well, obviously we already read this, so let's just see what's, what's going on. We got exiled immediately. Things are bad. But we got a mission done. Look at the bright side, you know? Oh my gosh, that's eight wars now? This is about to be hell, isn't it? So we've, we're in eight wars. This is so much better, guys. Doesn't just, it doesn't this just seem so much better than our first time? I immediately feel the difference of like, oh, this is easy to like, how the hell are we going to do this? And we have no help, and we didn't even win this war. I like it that I didn't get this land for free. I don't want to get this land for free. I like that it's going to be harder now, so I didn't get that land for free. But I get the historical aspect of it too, so... Again, not saying change it, I'm saying I like challenge and we got some RNG that didn't favor us. I don't even actually know what to do. You go for the weakest target or the strongest target first? I don't really know the answer to the question. Losing a lot of money, aren't we? Oh yes. We don't have force limit, do we? Oh my god. Oh no! Okay, we need to like fix that, I think. We're like massively over force limit. Let's get the free company and consolidate our, our uh, groups. And then let's get rid of some guys. Yeah, we're like massively over force limit. Okay, we got the free company and we're bleeding money. But how bad is bankruptcy? We have 13 loans already? That's not good. So maybe the free company is not the way. Or maybe, maybe we should raise war taxes. And I don't really know the answer. This ruler is cursed. This is so cursed. I got a two zero zero. Truly a crisis here. We got manpower, but we need money. Where's the money? Okay, there's some manpower and money, and just for, for autonomy, it's not the worst. We gotta. Did we do our government interaction that gives us money? Oh, uh, we can't. Okay, so go on and do this middle one because it just seems by far the best, and we need money. We just have to win fast. It's fine. I like that I got a really bad ruler because now I can't get my mill tech up about above them like really easily. Okay, we got a breach here. They like they don't have forts, so if we get a breach, we just we gotta send it, I think. Oh great. Oh ho ho ho. Just what we needed, some pretenders to clear out our our problems over here. You love to see it. Oh no. Okay, the pretenders have our capital. I don't know if the, I mean are the pretenders better than us? Is he better? like my leader is so bad that it would be probably yeah, that's six three one. Maybe he I think we just let him win. He can have it. Things are bad, but we have good morale. Not in game, but in like in real life. I think we let the rebels win because our leader is so bad that he doesn't deserve to win the succession, right? It's a zero. It's like a two zero zero. Oh no! Yeah, those guys are—they have no leader. This is great. That's gonna be a stack five, isn't it? Run! Oh my god! I intentionally lost those guys so I would have more manpower. Okay. So I think we're winning one war, which is good. But he doesn't want to give up. He doesn't—he doesn't realize it's over for him. But it's over for him. This—they're gonna reinforce. I swear, aren't they? No. Why? Is he, is he, is he mil 4? Why is he so much better than me? He's just better than me. There's nothing I can say. If they get stack wipe, we're in trouble. Don't get stack wipe, please. Okay, thank you guys. So I think we get a new army for free once these guys win. That was my plan. Anyways. 
We just need to wait like a year and then we get a- those guys are dead. Scorched and run! Scorched and run! Okay, prepare for war. Oh, we, we need that. We need that desperately. We're in trouble, guys. Things are not going our way. We are three loans away from bankruptcy. How did this happen? I don't know how to fix it. I think we're desperate. Baby, we exploit. Bankruptcy looming. Oh my god. This is the end. We're in trouble. I think once the rebels win, I won't be going bankrupt though. So let's just let's just you know just one to base, guys. It's n it's just one, okay? Don't don't look at me that way. It's just one, bro. Do we just get war on with some more people? What just happened? How did the rebels not win? You gotta win right now. Okay, the rebels won. Now I got a six three one, and hopefully we're not going bankrupt next month. I didn't even get the guys. Like, come on. How am I still going bankrupt? There's no way, right? Yeah, I'm not going bankrupt anymore. Okay, I got at least a few more months. Okay, great. And we got the subject interaction back, so we can get more money and manpower. So I'm going to show surrender by this man, who I can now subdue claimant and get money. I don't really know the answer to this riddle. Like, is he, like, the most disloyal person in the universe, or is he actually going to help me? I, I guess we just go with, like, you know, he can do his thing as long as he does it for me, you know what I'm saying? Or mill four, thank goodness. Now we can win everybody. Now we're the best there ever was. The rebels are real. Oh, good. We're on rebels. We should take the, the, the loans, the burger loans. I forgot. Let's do that. We're on defense. We win those. Just give me a moment to reinforce, please. Come on, win those. I'm better. That's right, I'm better. What a loser. He's mill four as well. He's scary. Are these my rebels? I think that's... Yeah, those are... I'm just letting the rebels destroy my nation then, right? Bankruptcy looming again? Oh, it's because my capital is siege, huh? It's just a capital. Get over it. We gotta fix our stability and our war exhaustion. Dude, oh no. How did those guys get in there so fast? Just to suicide. I meant that those guys sucked and I didn't like them. The free company is much better. So we're getting ruined by rebels right now. That's how it goes. I don't know how we're winning these wars, but apparently we're winning these wars. We, w we were intentionally winning this war, that's right. Afghanistan, so we're worth Afghanistan as well. Let's get in there. Got our capital back. Now we're gonna try to go after Afghanistan. Things are looking pretty good, I think. We're definitely winning. We're better. That guy's gonna find capital though, and I don't know if that's good. Siege race, I win. I, I never beat the AI in a siege race. It's not gonna happen, is it? Of course, of course I lose. Damn it, I wanted to not lose. Shocker, I know. I think this is too good. This thing pops up like uh, every year. This seems crazy. The only reason I'm alive is because I can spam that thing. This guy won't leave me alone because he's a jerk. He's a bully. There's rebels everywhere. What has happened? We accepted peace? White peace? Why did we do that? Why did we just accept white peace? So I don't accept these demands. But apparently I, I just accepted those demands. Can we like, can I have all your things? Listen, it's over and you know it. So, okay, I'm gonna end the war with this guy and make him become my subject. I'm gonna lose that, aren't I? Oh my god. Guys, help. Be useful. Okay, we can just uh, use this again. We'll be fine. We'll have infinite money. Infinite money. Hire more mercs. This is going bad. My capital, guys, it's over. Oh, uh, we're gonna lose our capital. Yeah, we lost our capital. Great. I don't even like my capital, personally. Okay, we got re reclaimed our land. I want to kill that guy because he's causing... Like, that's the only person who's really causing me problems. Why is it just white piecing my wars? How's it that I press this button a thousand times and I still have, like, insane prestige? Oh, we win those, right? That was that was expensive. That was not the way. I mean, we have infinite manpower, luckily, or that would be bad. Yeah, this guy, once this guy dies, I think he's the worst of it. Infinite manpower. I need your help. Oh, they just redeclared war because, uh, it's the way. What do you mean you don't want to be my subject? You, you do. I can sense it. Okay, this war surely has got to be, like, wrapping up soon, right? Like a month? Bro, what? Bro. What? I just lost that war? That I, what? Why is it like this? That makes me salt. What do you mean? What kind of nonsense is that? I had I had 80% war score. Why is it like this? That's not cool, man. They can't just be like, oh, it's a ceasefire. I know you're about one war score away from winning, but it's a ceasefire. What do you mean? I don't know what just happened, but I feel like I just got bamboozled out of a war that I was winning. And I'm kind of sad. Okay, I'm going to end this war before they magically just cheat. And then subdue him. Now you can't cheat, it's over. You don't own provinces. What is that? Raid? Peasants? White peace automatically? I, damn it. Why does the auto white peace happen? Yeah, they, they, I think this needs to rework. This win button. Maybe not a rework, just, look, just like a nerf. A cooldown nerf would be all you really need to do. Because remember that time I deleted my fort and now we suffer for it? I remember that. Chance white peace this guy? Like, what do you mean? It's over. Dude, Wolgas got burgundy. This mod's crazy. What are they doing? 
Listen, what do you want from me? You want some money? You want 50 ducats to leave me alone? All right, man, 50 ducats, go home. Okay, that's the AJM war. No war name, I like it. Did they just truce break me? If I subjugate him, I just have everyone, right? Like I win, I'm better. He's already getting sieged? No, I'm not at war with that guy, so I can't do anything about that. Cause I got pieced out for some phantom reason. Even though I was gonna beat him, the game was like, you're actually, you're not gonna beat him, he's better. You lose. I hate that that guy's capital is sieged out by the other person. It's like, what am I supposed to do about that? Can I war with this guy again someday? No CB. I could war with him again, but I have no CB. Can I, how do I get the good CB? I feel like the game bamboozled me and I lost out on getting those guys that I should have had. Feels like I have infinite prestige, because I'm like, constantly pressing that button. Does that button actually lose me prestige? I feel like it almost doesn't. Oh, we can end this war. Probably. Subdue claimant and money. The no war name. <laughs> I like it. So did we acquire all the- we got all the subjects now. What do we do from here? I'm confused. We can't click anything. So, is it gonna auto war for me again or something? I'm not so sure. Or do I need to just like manually do this war? Because I don't have a CB anymore. A little worried here that something's gonna break. I don't know what exactly... What am I supposed to do? I guess I just need to subjugate him? Like, who... So most of these people are under me as a subject, except for this other guy who's not. So basically, I think I need to subjugate this guy to uh, finish this thing off. Wait, can I not go to war? Uh, I don't know what to do, guys. I don't know. I'm kind of at a standstill because I can't make the guy a subject because it won't let me declare war with him. I need to be at war with him, but I can't declare war with him. So I'm kind of at a standstill of like, I don't know what to do. So I don't... Yeah, I, I, I don't know if I broke it on accident or... If I'm missing something, maybe? I'm kind of just at a standstill here, not knowing what to do. Unfortunately, I broke something in the mod. I can't declare war, there's no way to progress. Which is unfortunate, because I was having a lot of fun until I ran into a few bugs. But that's totally understandable, these guys only had two weeks to work on the mod, so I'm sure I'll give them a few more weeks and things are going to be very clean. I was told by the developer that I hit a extremely rare case. What happened was these two guys were allied and at war with me, but they're also in a bunch of other wars. They were forced to break alliance with each other, and then that triggered them to have to war with each other. And since they're already at war with me, it deleted our war because it's saying these two guys need to be at war, but they're at war together versus me. So it creates kind of a contradiction, and so the war just got deleted. An extremely rare case. Also, a secondary thing that happened is QQ subjugated one of the guys that I needed to subjugate, and I couldn't declare war with him either, because I'm not allowed. Just a couple little bugs I ran into. They're unfortunate that kind of ruined the progression of my playthrough. And I would definitely want to try this again when they've had the chance to clean those up. But it is to my understanding that this has been thoroughly playtested, and I just ran into some very rare bugs. So let me give you guys my final thoughts on the mod. I think that button for manpower money is too strong, and it needs to be addressed, because I kind of didn't have any money or manpower issues, which I think a disaster, you know, it's, it's a disaster, right? You should have to struggle with manpower and money. That's just, that's just life. So maybe a slight nerf to that would be a good approach or maybe some negative consequences from pressing the same button over and over, or maybe you can't use the same button until you've used the other two buttons. I'm not a developer. I'm just throwing out random ideas. Second, I would say I had way more fun when I wasn't allied to the Ottomans. Either Lock alliances if you can. If you can't, just tell the player, hey, don't make alliances. That's not how the mod was intended. But I was having a ton of fun with it until, you know, I broke it, unfortunately. So I will have the chance to continue this another time when they've had the chance to polish things. So let's take that as you will. A bit of a mixed result for me. But I will say I think it has insane potential. It's just not quite there yet. But I would definitely look forward to see what these guys can do without the two-week time constraint. However, that's going to do it for this video. Let me know if you guys would like to see more mod reviews. But as always, thanks for watching and have a great one.